Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. In today's video, we are going to learn something about algebra. Algebra is a branch of mathematics which deals with variables, constants, terms, expressions, so on. So, let us understand each and every term in detail. Okay. Before we start, if at all I say there are two chocolates on the table. The two chocolates is fixed for everyone in the sense I, if I say two chocolates the other person does not say it is going to be five chocolates because the quantity is fixed over there. right? If I say there are x chocolates over there on the table that is a variable it is an unknown quantity. 2 is a fixed quantity, 5 is a fixed quantity, minus 10 is the temperature in that area that is a fixed quantity. But if I say x number of articles that x can be different from person to person, a person x, a person y, what does this mean? Something which is unknown, variable, keeps changing, right. So, if I say uh, x into 2 is equal to some quantity, what is that x? what does it mean that is nothing but a variable right so algebra is something which deals with variables constant what do you mean by a constant as i said two chocolates on the table it remains two chocolates for everyone a person a or a b or c whatever it, whoever it is they say two chocolates isn't it right so we have constants which have fixed value and variables whose value keeps on changing from person to person, place to place, so on, right. So, constants, as we know constants are nothing but numericals, the values of the numericals, they do not change. Here, variables can be changing, so I represent them by letters, okay. These are represented by numbers and these are represented by letters, okay, 2, 0, 5, so on a b c x y so on so uh, variables are represented by english alphabet letters and constants are nothing but numericals now i have a group of all the numericals here i have group of all the variables here if i want to form a combination of these in the sense i pick up one constant i pick up one variable and multiply them together then what am i going to get for example 2 into a 2a right is this a constant or a variable 2 is constant a is variable so the val value of 2a is it going to be constant or varying it is going to vary depending upon the value of a so such thing this is called as a term combinations of constants and variables using multiplication and division only we need to be very clear about this if i pick up one constant and one variable and combine them using multiplication or division i call it as a term okay so 2 into a or 5 by x these all are terms right so i can pick up one variable one constant or more variables and more constants or only variables or only numericals also if i say 2 into 5 this is 2 into 5, 10 which is a numerical term. If I say x into y, this is a variable term, right? This is constant, this is a varying term. These are variable terms, right? If I have x into x into y into z, this is a term, of course, I have picked up 4 variables and joined them or combined them using multiplication and I can continue it divided by a this is also a term I, if at all i have to write it in precise way it is going to be x square y z by a this is a term right how many factors of this term are there we will get into the details of this later on so we have learnt what is a numerical what is a variable what is a term i uh, picked up a numerical a constant and a variable or some constants and some variables and combine them using multiplication and division and i said it is going to be a term what if I combine them using addition and subtraction? We have four fundamental operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. If I combine them using multiplication and division, we are going to get terms. If I combine them using addition and subtraction, we are going to get something called as expression. Okay. For example, 2 plus a is an expression, 0 plus x plus y is an expression. 5 minus x minus y or 5, 5 minus x y or 10 minus 
x square y 12x plus x y these all are called as expressions. Please be clear with the difference between term and an expression. Term is nothing but a combination of a constant and a variable in either ways or many variables and some constants in whichever way it is using only multiplication and division it is called as a term. If I combine some terms or some variables and constants using addition and subtraction then it is going to be called as an expression. Please understand this these three are very clear I have picked up constant and variable and I have added or subtracted but here you may get confused. I have picked up a constant and I have picked up two variables which are combined by multiplication and then I used subtraction here. This is going to be a term that is why I made it very clear. I pick up some terms or variables or constants and combine them using addition symbol or subtraction symbol. Then I call it as an expression. Here I have picked up x into x into y which is a term and 10 minus x square y this is an expression. So, these all are expressions. So, let us be clear regarding terms and expressions right. So, constants, variables, terms, expressions these all these are the four things we have learned. Let us move on. Let me choose one term 3 x square y is it a term first of all I have picked up one constant which is 3 2 x and y that means x into x into y. So, I have multiplied all the four factors see I have already told you I am going to explain about factors what are all the factors for example, what are the factors of 12 1 2 3 4 and 6 and 12 these are the factors of 12. I can write 12 as 2 into 6 3 into 4 1 into 12 so on is not it. So, what are the factors of 3 x square y 3 into x into x into y. So, the factors of 3 x square y are 3 x and y right. So, these are the factors. Now, in this term let us deal about coefficient. This word is so nice coefficient what do you mean by co same right efficient means both are equally important what does it mean I would like to find out the coefficient of 3 in this term that means which is the other term equally important to 3 coefficient of 3 is if 3 is uh, one uh, one part of the term then x square y is going to be the other part of the term. So, x square y is going to be the coefficient of 3. So, coefficient of 3 is x square y what is the coefficient of y then what is the other part of the term which is equally efficient as y it is going to be 3 x square wonderful. What is the coefficient of x square then I have to choose x square as one part of the term and the remaining part of the term which is equally efficient as x square is 3 y. So, coefficient of x square is 3 y good then what is the coefficient of x alone we do not find any x individually here it is 3 into x square into y. So, how do I find out the coefficient of x here? It is very simple I will write it as 3 into x into x into y you choose any one x because both mean the same I choose this x. What is the other part of the term which is equally efficient as x 3 x y coefficient of x is 3 x y. If this term is minus 3 x square y what is the coefficient of x square then minus 3 y what is the coefficient of y then minus 3 x square what is the coefficient of 3 minus x square y. So, similarly then what is the coefficient of minus 3 then x square y what is the coefficient of minus x y what is the coefficient of minus x y here it is a combination of minus 3 in x and x and y. So, I would like to find out the coefficient of minus x y. So, if I remove those minus x and y whatever is the leftover part is going to be the coefficient 3 x right it is so simple. So, finding out the coefficient of the given term is very simple ok. So, we have learnt about terms variables sorry we have learned about constants, variables, terms, 
expressions and then coefficients. Now, 3 x y in this term we have a numerical value we have variables also what is the numerical coefficient of this term coefficient is going to be the term part of the term which is equally efficient as i have already told you what is the numerical coefficient of this term that means the number in it is going to be 3 numerical coefficient is 3 what is a literal coefficient the word literal is going to be something related to variables letters so literal coefficient is x y numerical coefficient of this term is 3 and literal coefficient of this term is x y and we have learned about terms coefficients numerical coefficients literal coefficients ok now I am going to give you some examples of terms here 4 x square 2 by 3 x square y 5 x square 7 x square 8 x square y ok. I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms on the board. Here all these are terms undoubted because these are com multi, uh, combined by either multiplication or division ok. Now observe carefully that 1, 2, 3 these 3 look alike do they look alike do they have the same values over there we do not know about the values because all the 3 are variable terms how do I we decide whether they are looking similar or not something makes me realize that they are similar that is x square x square all these 3 terms have x square as the literal coefficient of course the numerical coefficients are different if I say there are 5 apples in a basket 2 apples in the other basket and 3 apples in the other basket do not we say that they are similar they are like is not it because all the baskets contains apples maybe the number of apples are different does not make much difference over there. So all these 3 terms are called as like terms do we have any other set of like terms in this given example 2 by 3 x square y and 8 x square y are left over observe carefully that x square y x square y these two have the same literal coefficient so these two are a set of like terms here now how about uh, 5 x y 2 x square minus 3 x cube 4 x square y I have given you 4 terms here are there any like terms here are there any like terms x y x square x cube x square y none of the terms have this same literal coefficient is not it. So, all these are called as unlike terms which are not like are unlike terms ok. So, we have learnt about like terms and unlike terms ok. So, in this video we have learnt about constants variables terms expressions coefficients numerical coefficients literal coefficients like and unlike terms in the next videos we are going to learn in detail about the remaining elements of algebra thank you